Yes, it is. Ball fielder, Uncle Tom Cobley and all go over the boundary. That shot really promises uh, a belt off a pitch here. The ball just short of length, but F3D really quickly onto it. The full blade getting on his toes, standing up and punching it outside Mahanama. Mahanama in vain, vain pursuit. And that's typical F3D four runs hitting through the line. That was a fine stroke. And listen to the applause that has greeted that one. That was typical of F3D. As soon as Sajiva De Silva pitched it up, he was quickly on to it and hitting it past that vacant gap on the offside. Perfectly timed, a full flow, and he's freed his arms to advantage. Less. There's no one there at uh, short third man, and it fairly raced away to the boundary. And I tell you what, this Pakistani crowd, if this goes on, are all going to have very sore throats by the evening. The crowd certainly on their feet. The flags fluttering away as F3D gets behind and punches, virtually carves that past the slip and down to the third man for four. Side. Oh, and that's a very good piece of fielding. That's Chaminda Vass, and I think he was all right. I don't think his hand was on the ball when he went over the boundary rope. That was very good fielding by Chaminda Vass. I think he realised that he may have, or he might go over with the ball in his hand, and quickly realising that, um, threw the ball in. So I think he was all right. There you are, that's Chaminda Vass still inside. Feeding needing a little bit of a charmed life, and it was a despairing dive by Lanka de Silva. He couldn't quite get to it, and of course there are no slips in attendance with runs coming so fast. A very good delivery by Chamin Dawas in the corridor of uncertainty. Afridi going for the drive. Just see that thickish outside edge. Lanka Silva outstretched hands, just eluding him. The ball running down to the boundary. to Saeed Anwar. Once again, very nicely played by Saeed Anwar. The timing was exquisite. Just showing that his form has returned. So it's a turn of the wrist and the ball speeding away. That's helped away on the onside and taken in the deep and he's gone over the line. Six runs here to Anwar. Well in good nick. This is one of his favourite shots. And I think even if... Uh, I think it's Kalpagi. Atapatu. Even if he had taken that catch, I think uh, every likely it would have uh, gone for six because he was, as we'll see, his fielding on the boundary line. And when he took that uh, catch, which eventually spilled out of his hands, he was right on the boundary line. And there is crossing it, although he dropped the ball this time. It's six runs to Said Anwar. He has given this a real whack. Six runs for Afridi. Such a powerful strike of a cricket ball. And that six there bringing up the 50 for Pakistan. Well, that's the way to describe him. Such a powerful hitter. Chimanda was nothing wrong with the ball. And Afridi taking just two steps down, giving himself room and hitting it straight back over the bowler's head for the first six, or the second six of the match, first by Afrid himself. Beautiful ah! lovely clean hit by Sai Langa this time. Clearly showing that his confidence has grown. He's not afraid to take the aerial route. And when it's there in the slot, he's going to make the bowlers pay for it. And what confidence can do after his innings yesterday, picking up beautifully 
and striking the ball very well. Both these batsmen giving Pakistan a brilliant start. That's glorious. You won't see too many better shots than that all day today. That was right out of the coaching manual. Lovely piece of timing. That's, that's the shot of a man in form. And yesterday towards, uh, after he got his uh, confidence back, he played that shot. And Weston is in fact placed three fielders, two in saving one position and the other one in the boundary line. Still he pierced that field and picked up boundaries and today again. In the air and taken. Again attempting that shot. And Arjuna Ranatunga making no mistake. Pin drop silence in the crowd. Sai Danwar is dismissed and just what Sri Lanka wanted. They picked up a very important wicket here. He is certainly very important wicket because Sai Anwar is the man who can go on to play big innings. And here Chaman Davas picking up the wicket of the vice Pakistan vice captain trying to play over the top. And uh, just the, the ball hitting on top of the bat and Arjuna Rana Tunga taking a good catch. Pakistan 66 for one. So Amir Sohail comes out to the middle to keep that uh, left hand, right hand batting combination going. Came in at number four yesterday. Ejaz came at three. And as expected, he did try something, but the bowler wins the battle here. And the captain, Arjuna Ranatunga, he persevered with Chaminda Was for that seventh over. He thought that he'll give him the breakthrough. He's done exactly that. Pakistan have lost their second wicket. And this is not what uh, really required Chamandavas bowling his last over, last ball of the last over of this uh, spell. But uh, Shahid Afridi not resisting, couldn't resist, and losing his off stump. Pakistan losing the second wicket, 75 for two. The new batsman is Moen Khan, and he's come to the wicket because just a moment ago, Wazim Akram's short innings ended. a tremendous straight drive that was hit very very hard indeed they're, they're long off and long on in position directly bis bisected them and all along the ground he got into position perfectly and what a massive hit that was picking up two and there he goes again for four Tremendous stroke. 13 off the over. 227 for five. Chandana comes around. He is very, very fast and very accurate with his return. What a magnificent piece of fielding by the substitute. That was brilliant cricket, no doubt about it. And I think Moyne would probably struggle. Uh, Ian Robinson has asked for the third umpire and will say in the replay it is out and is out comfortably. There's no doubt about it. And that was a brilliant piece of cricket. The bail is in the air and I'm sure that the third umpire would signal him out. Well, let's have another look. The umpire is going to ask for it more than once, I can tell you. That's wonderful running too. He's out of his ground there and I think the umpire will decide that he is gone and he has. But that's good running but stretching right out. But what a magnificent piece of fielding by Chandana. The substitute, he got there in a flash, picked it up cleanly and the return was absolutely spot on. You will not see a better piece of fielding in the deep than that. Absolutely turning. Here... Chandana picking up and next to the stumps and the wicketkeeper didn't have to move much a brilliant piece of cricket and that was deservedly getting the run out Pakistan 234 for 6 new batsman is Azar Mahmood who had that tremendous innings the other evening which almost brought a remarkable victory for Pakistan There's Dharmasena down the ground once more. This time Chinana can't get there. I don't mind how fast he was. 
Donovan Bain, he would have found it difficult to reach that one. And Ijaz Ahmed coming down the wicket. And although they have got a long on deep, but even as we have seen in, pre in the previous over how quick Chandana is, but this time not being able to prevent. And the next delivery, Ijaz cutting it square, beating the fielder in the deep once again, picking up two boundaries and two balls. And this is what is needed at the moment. Pakistan do need these runs, as many of them as possible. And Ijaz Ahmed is providing. He's placed that really well. And it's gone through. So misfielding on the boundary. Jaya Surya to his wrong side, of course. He is a left-hander. And that ball went to him on the right-hand side. And 14 runs off the over. Three fours. But he really should have cut it off. 248 for six. Four overs to go. Azam Mahmood, as we've seen, is a good strike of the ball. And that's going to be four again. So another fumble in the outfield by the Sri Lankans. Atul Patu has had such a bad day in the field. Put down a couple of catches. Seemed to have that under control, but then lost it. Over his head. That's gone. No question about that one. Azam Mahmood. As he did the other evening against South Africa. They send in the crowd at the Gaddafi Stadium. Wild with delight. And even if Chandana, who got his hands to it, had he caught it even then, I think it would have probably gone for a six because of the way he was. Slower delivery from uh, Sanjeeva De Silva, which Azar Mahmood picked it. And he got a hand to it, but the ball crossed, falling over the boundary. Well taken. So Azar Mahmood goes to that good catch. He was going the wrong way, Lanka Silva and uh, just changed direction to pick it up so a dangerous man got rid of by Sri Lanka Azar Mahmood there he goes the wrong way and having to come back to his right to take it good catch 269 for seven That's a big one. Up into the stratosphere. And they can't resist it. And why not? You don't see a, as big a hit as that every day of the week. Yes, uh, certainly this is the biggest hit that we have seen in this tournament. And uh, Ajaz, after missing that earlier delivery from Chamanda Vaz, making absolutely sure that he make a good contact and not only it went very high, but it also went very long. And that stroke takes Ajaz into the 90s. He's gone. Rashid Latif getting the edge. Chaminda Vas gets the wicket. Not that it matters too much now, except that it goes not only as a wicket in the book, but also a wicket no run off the delivery so one over remaining here is the dismissal and it's 278 for eight so Ijaz 94 Will he get it with a six this time? A fielder is out there waiting for the catch and takes it. And on this occasion, Ijaz Ahmed, whose last hundred here was reached with a six, falling just a little bit short. Chandana taking the catch, a long off. But what a fine innings and what an effort by Ijaz. Yes, he, he did feel uh, after hitting that shot, a bit disappointed that he got caught. But what a magnificent innings. Very slow to start with, but in the end, scoring 94 and that one once again going very high in the air and Chandana 
who earlier on missed Azhar Mahmood taking a comfortable catch fine performance by Ajaz 278 for 9 Pakistan bold him beautifully bold at this stage of the innings that's what you're looking for to the late batsmen who are swinging and uh, Sajiva the silver strikes Waka goes and that is the end of the innings with the leg stump taken so that Pakistan finish with 280 all out Here's Wazim Akram to Salat Jaisuriya. Yes, this uh, is the big one as far as uh, Pakistan's concerned. They lose this and they're out of it. They have posted a score of 280, which is a very good score. But then uh, Sri Lankans in the past have made light of scores around 280, 300. lovely shot effortless well he had a terrible time in the field Marvin Ataparu he dropped two catches spilled the ball that went for four what a good blow that's gone all the way Salah Jaya Syria such a good hooker of the ball sometimes it gets him in trouble this time it gets him six so it moves on to 33 without loss. Perfect position, perfect stroke, perfect result. That's a pretty firm stroke from Adapatu. Going away there towards the straight boundary, and it's arrived. So what a good over. 15 runs off it, and Sri Lanka now 42 for no wicket. I say, look at that. Well, it sat up and begged at him, but at quite a pace, and he smacked it for four. This is super batting by Jasuria. Oh, and there we go again. This is really a firework display rather than a cricket match, isn't it? A terrific stroke. So this is what Jasuria can do. He could even tear someone like Wasim Makram, who has been bowling brilliantly well up to now. So this is a productive over for Sri Lanka. Once again, Akram short and Jayasuriya, everything behind it, punching it on the offside. No stopping him now. Big appeal, the Pakistanis think they've got him, but umpire Ian Robinson says not out. Flurry there, pad. And the ball goes up in the air. The Pakistanis also went up in the air, but Ampa Robinson doesn't agree. It's a good attempt by wicketkeeper Latif, but it's the pad all the way. And that is a brilliant piece of fielding. Amir Sahel is a wizard in the gully, and my goodness, that ball was hit hard. An absolutely beauty, brilliant bit of fielding. A cracker off at the path to a certain four with Amaswell outstretched, picking it up cleanly. Well, the runs here, we'll have to wait and see. It's going to be four, I think, whether it was bat, buys, or pad. I think, in fact, Jasaria caught up with that one. He did indeed. It came off the bat. Yes, Jasaria did get a little bit of bat, and uh, when you get it so fine, past the wicket, keep your settle your eye in business. So Jasaria adding on to his tally. Well, that's got that away, but I think only for the... No, they've come back for the second. That was good oh! running out the it, and uh, the Pakistanis think that is a wicket. He 
Jazz was the thrower. It was a marvellous throw. That was indeed a brilliant throw by Ajaz. The Sri Lankans testing Ajaz's arm, challenging him, and I think Atapattu realizes he's gone. The ball hitting the stumps direct with Atapattu diving for his crease, but I'm sure he must have been shot by a foot or two. Oh yes, that's out all right. And there it is, and listen to the noise. <laughs> Anyone think they've won the match? Not the best way for Atapattu to lose his wicket and that fine partnership by the Sri Lankans coming to an end. So Sri Lanka lose their first wicket for 65. And the new batsman Roshan Mahanama and he's here because of the astonishing run out of Atapattu. uncertainty straight to Amaswell with Mahanama fishing outside the off sum so Sri Lanka lose their second wicket for 68 and Aravinda De Silva is the new batsman taking the place of Roshan Mahanama who was picked up by Amir Sahail at second slip Goes for the big one here, Jay Surya. There's a man coming under it, but he can only see it sail past the boundary line for a six. He's the danger man for Pakistan. And another clean hit by him. And as long as he is, he is there, Sri Lankans don't have to worry about the run rate. And that one very high and very cleanly hit. Quite timing it, and this could be another run out here. The keeper not collecting the ball, but he's asked for the replay here. This is going to be very, very close. The body language of the Pakistan team suggests that De Silva might have just made his ground, but we'll take another look. Yes, and it's strange that De Silva, after hitting that ball, and Jay Surya not even moving, Alda is not even getting any. <laughs> It's again Moin Khan once again. Had that been a direct hit, there's no doubt De Silva would have been out. But here, he is comfortably home. And as is mentioned, Ravi, the body language, both of the Pakistani team as well as De Silva, suggested that he was comfortably home. Oh, this will be four runs. A superb shot on the offside by De Silva to give him his first boundary 80 for 2 Sri Lanka again using his feet and smash straight down the ground there is a man at long off but he cannot stop it this has been one of the features of Jay Surya's innings he strikes the ball so hard and this time once again placing it to perfection too. Man a deep long off, unable to cut that with that power he gets. Very short back lift, but it's all timing which gets him the power. Oh, beautifully played. What a magnificent stroke. That really deserves more acclaim from the spectators than it's got. One understands why the situation is it is as it is they want Pakistan to win here but look at that what a touch of class there by Arvind De Silva just leaning onto it and just picking that gap there's no stopping it just shows a master craftsman at work plenty of skill and he really articulates that in his batting And now in the completely opposite direction. We're talking about class and quality. 
that is the highest class of batting you can possibly imagine different shot but the same result just see the flick of the wrist so bringing the ball into his body just playing it over his eyes so close to his body and having complete control and hitting it into that vacant region bisecting two fielders down there on the line at square leg and fine leg precise placement oh that's a bad bit of misfeeling but again the effect here of the Jew the ball slippery skidding off the ground that's Mohammed Hussein out there the substitute got his body in behind it didn't go down in the orthodox manner and the ball just skidding through him for four it should have been just a single we reached the boundary just but he really didn't have the space the room to play that shot and somehow he got it between mid on and deep mid wicket and picked up four for it this is really the class of Barovinda de Silva that clinical placement is ruthless when hitting the bad balls to the boundary but once he gets his good balls away it's just clinical just see the timing the placement and the ball reaching the boundary magnificently hit placed really just have enough legs on it to make it well it probably didn't have enough legs on its own but the legs of uh, Shida Freedy correction it's uh, Sacklin out there who helped it over the line so this is a very expensive first over on a new spell impeccable timing there by Jasuri just leaning onto it and beating a fairly protected field on the offside the field is standing at short extra cover took the sting of the ball but uh, the ball carried over to the boundary his last over in his first spell which was his fourth over in the opening spell cost him 15 the first one of a new costing him 13 so far make that 17 so Sri Lanka ready going great guns here halfway stage 25 overs gone 158 for two Jai Surya, who was a little slow to start, wasn't too far behind. Now he's picked up the tempo of his innings, uh, Jai Surya. Arvinda has looked uh, as if he's having a net. He's such a top player that when he is uh, in this kind of form, it looks as if he's really just having a net. He's uh, Look at the way he's played the shot now. Lots of time to hit it and place it. again look for the two here he's a very good runner between the wickets and the 100 partnership coming up with that two runs it's come in just 77 balls and this will be another boundary Kenny's found the gap he's placed it well and placed it fine enough And that should be it. Another half century for this very consistent Sri Lankan batsman, Arvinda De Silva. 50 of just 48 balls. And Sri Lanka, 184 for two. Well, that's gone away um, for four runs. The fine edge in the later stages of a limited over cricket match is a pretty good shot. It was too wide of Rashid Latif. Uh, bad luck on the bowler. Yes, that was an intentional shot. We'll see here Arvinda trying to open the face of the bat, successfully doing it. And uh, 
Rashid Latif in vain diving to his right and the ball just bouncing in front it didn't carry so you can't say it was a chance but certainly Arvinda picking up four more runs and edging Sri Lanka towards victory in a very grand fashion and I think this could be the two it is going to be and that is Jaya Surya's 100 and what a splendid innings it's been he's a wonderful cricketer he must lay claim to being just about the best batsman in the world in all cricket but certainly in one day cricket without any doubt Henry what a magnificent 100 that was for Sri Lanka and it's good to see the senior partner Arvinda coming on to congratulate giving him a hug and I'm sure quietly must have also told him that look it's not over yet you have to continue and that's the stats 100 of just 86 deliveries well just look at that it's like shelling peas isn't it coming down the wicket and hitting it right into the gap for four runs and probably will say here that was the slower delivery from Azarman with which it was and Jai Surya very quick to pick that up coming down the record and taking in the full toss and the fielders didn't even move that looks as if it has four written all over it it does lovely shot just flicking it off his toes Jai Surya that's gone over the top for four runs again that was a, a lovely looking easy graceful stroke there was no brutality about it just timing perfect execution knowing that the feeder at long off is in the circle and Arvinda making absolutely sure that it's, he's going to clear that fielder and in spite of a jump from the fielder at long off it easily went for four and there we go again, this time off the back foot, four more. What a little gem Aravinda de Silva is. 34 overs have been bowled, the score 231 for two. As are. Oh, and that's another lovely stroke. Oh, glorious and confirming everything that Asif was saying a moment or two ago. This man really is poetry in motion as he isn't he he is and it's a pleasure to watch uh, him bat in full flow and look at that another four through the fielder down to the boundary for four ball skidding off the outfield Trifle shot by Afridi and uh, Jazz Surya pounces on it, pulling it around. Doesn't need much room. Beating the man there in front, the ball skidding off and racing to the boundary with uh, no way that the outfielders could get to it. So the Sri Lankans continuing to go strongly. nothing very much one could do in the face of this onslaught two superb stroke makers different styles but producing similar sort of result and uh, just to add a little excitement to the evening a six over the top of long off easy as pie so Jai Surya once again coming down and lofting Afridi the ball going sky high like a scud and ending up a good two three yards outside the line that'll help as well that's gone for four so he moves on now to 92 oh. Oh, there's bat on that, no question, it's gone on there very quickly. So he's pushed on to 97 now with that boundary, Aravinda. 
here's the six from Jaya Surya. And I think it was after the six that he realized that if he had any more of those, the silver wasn't going to get the hundred. Yes, I think uh, Jaya Surya certainly has been helping the silver along with his hundred. That really reflects the type of team spirit, the unity that uh, has been around in the Sri Lankan team. Each man helping the other along. And that's what partnerships are made out of. And he's got it. So Aravinda da Silva with his 10th 100 in one day internationals joins his partner Sanath Jayasuriya and gets the warm applause from his teammates and from around the ground who, in spite of the disappointment of Pakistan on the brink of defeat, can realize a high-class innings when they see one. What a fine innings this has been for Maravinda de Silva. 100 runs in 87 balls, started with 12 boundaries. It's been an innings of absolute class, showing that he's certainly on the top rung among world bats. Sri Lankan flag flying proudly high. So a wonderful 100 by each of these batsmen. Just a point, uh, Ranjit. So far, Sri Lanka have not had to field and bowl at night with the Jew is the factor. Didn't have to do that in the World Cup final as well. Now, might they tomorrow, if they win the toss, decide to use it as practice? And they decide tomorrow that if they win the toss, they'll bat. As a little bit of practice in the night, for the final on Saturday. It is indeed a very interesting proposition and um, certainly that's something which the Sri Lankans might consider seriously as uh, that would also provide them with a sort of a challenge to say that um, even with the deal that uh, they are a good enough side to try and take on even the best of sides and uh, would also serve as some sort of practice because uh, handling the wet ball is something one could gain confidence out of. Well, they need just another three to win the match. They've gone for two, and they'll come back for the third run, and Sri Lanka have formalized the result with uh, three leg buys, and they've won it with a mile to spare, ten overs to spare. Sri Lanka go through to the final of the Golden Jubilee Tournament, yet another final for the Sri Lankans, and, of course, the last one they were in here, was the big one the world cup back in march 1996 they still have another game against south africa whom they will meet also tomorrow in the last of the preliminary round and they'll meet them again in the final on saturday disappointment for the pakistanis they've been well and truly beaten here by the better team of course the conditions were a disadvantage for pakistan as they have been for the team fielding under the lights in the earlier matches but I don't think they could quarrel here that the better team won the match and won it very handsomely. Sri Lanka cantering home an easy eight wicket win. <laughs>